Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Warrior Land 4. In the last episode, we finished up the two worst levels in the game. So, uh, we did all the levels of the Topaz Passage, and now we have unlocked the boss. So, uh, yeah, first things first, I know I've been uploading quite late recently. Uh, I'm currently recording this at 7 pm, and that's not good. I should be recording at say uh, 5 p.m. or something so that I can upload for 6 p.m. which I think is probably the best compromise for uh, everyone. Now obviously that's gonna be uh, what 2 p.m. for Americans. Uh, re I suppose really I ought to be uploading so that people can watch these at lunch times. So you can uh, watch it while eating. I don't know. That's what I like to do in any way. Anyway, so this boss, uh, I've just showed basically... Oh, can, can I not hit this guy anymore? I can. That's good. So basically, he sends down these paratroopers with uh, spikes on them. And by jumping into them, you can hurt yourself. But you can also throw them up to the bear, which then deflates it. It's a sort of... Oh, come on! What on earth? This So this boss battle, one of the more annoying boss battles of the game, because it is so temperamental. Like, it's so easy to just completely miss any attempts to hit the boss. But yeah, you can hit him twice when he's uh, upside down like that. The uh, rat is who the real boss is, not the uh, teddy bear. Um, so yeah, you need to... Um... Oh, come on! This is ridiculous! I'm bashing into it and it's just refusing to... Uh... Look, look. There we go, we did it. That was exactly the same as the past couple of times. This is a very annoying boss. And uh, not something I think I'm going to be able to... Come on. He, he goes higher. Just go away. Oh, what the hell? I can't, I can't jump on top of him. That was infu... I hate this boss so much. Come, I've missed my chance. I've missed... I've missed my freaking chance. Oh, come on. I don't care. I want to kill this boss. I've already had to freaking restart recording once because... Oh, really? I hate this boss. I hate this boss with a passion. Throw me a bone here. Those chests are going to float away, and I'm going to miss out on the perfect ending. Uh, I don't know if I've explained it before. I think I just sort of left it as a uh, kind of... I don't want to spoil anything. But yeah, those chests are important towards getting the best ending in the game. And I just hit him four times. I didn't even know you could hit him that many times. So yeah, you don't want to be losing any of those chests. I think they also affect the amount of time you have to do the final boss. Uh, I'm just gonna let him kill me, because uh, why not? Oh, come! No, I'm just gonna let it run out of time and then. Looks like we're doing more mini games. Let's do the Warrior Hop. Let's show you how good I am at the Warrior Hop. Oh my god, this is a nightmare of an episode. Oh. So this is back to the warrior hop. I showed this off before. I only got one before because I suck. But yes, you've got to hop over this uh, variety of enemies and... Oh. <laughs> right, I'm going to do this and hopefully get some medals out of it and I'm gonna leave it off camera 
because you don't want to watch that. All right, we're back. Uh, <laughs> so um, I've been doing the mini games. Uh, new high score on that, 39. Uh, basically, because of the uh, frame skipping issues in my emulator, I can't do it any more than 39 because after 38 it speeds up and it's impossible to keep up any kind of timing when it speeds up but it's also got frame skips. Um, similarly for the home run, uh, that's incredibly timing based and you just can't do it with the amount of frame skipping going on. I uh, never thought it would be uh, so interfering but it is. And so I resulted in doing the roulette, which I always used to hate, and actually I got to 12 and I realised I had enough medals. I could have kept going. I had 12, but I could have got, kept going, I mean, after about 10. It sort of speeds up as, as you get from 1 to 10, and then it gets to 11, and 11 is back to like being like 6 seconds or something to memorise things again and it just gives you more options to choose from so I guess it's just like a little bit a, a different kind of difficulty anyway we've got 11 medals I don't know how I got 11 but yeah we've got enough for any of these so I just need to remember which one it was I believe it's the dog So either the dog or the large lips. Basically, I'm not entirely sure what these do because I've never really bothered with them. But uh, these four, notice how there are four the same number as bosses? Well, that's because these all do different. Well, they affect the bosses differently. So, uh, for instance, the big fist does more damage to the uh, clock, and I'm pretty sure the dragon does more damage to the uh, potted plant. So I think it's the large lips that do the most damage to this boss and then the black dog. Well, it, you'll see why that's uh, an obvious choice for the most damaging to the uh, fourth boss. But uh, I won't spoil that. So I'm going to take this and hope to freaking god that we can do this. Also hope to god that my recording doesn't for some reason stop. I don't have that much hard drive space, and I did spend a long time doing the uh, minigame stuff. <sighs> Look at all that damage! Whew, yes, it was the large lips that do the most damage to this. It's been left with two hits, and guess what? We've still got four minutes to do those two hits. Ah, oh, made a horrible boss bearable. And if... I swear to God, if we somehow lose this... Like, for instance, these annoying fireballs... Come on. Okay. I think it's just a case of dodging them, because... No! I, I, we could still genuinely fail this, because I can't dodge that fire. It takes up far too much of the screen. Come on. One. Two. Yes. Oh, gosh. Uh, what's that? Like 15 minutes of the episode gone because I was doing this horrible, horrible boss. Man. Definitely, definitely the worst passage. Um, Alright, let's um, do the Crescent Moon Village level. Let's start on the uh, Sapphire Passage, why not? Uh, I need something to uh, cool me off after that nightmare of a level. That's interesting. But yeah, you can turn into a zombie in these levels, which uh, allows you to fall through, um... Oh. 
stupid bubbles. Allows you to, to... Come on. Use bubbles. What? Come on, how do I dodge these? Man, I thought the rage-inducing moments were over. Oh man, that is some weird glitch with the transparency. Anyway, let's go continue on. Uh, we've got a new type of enemies. These guys are like axe murderers or whatever, and they charge at us with their axes. And they're actually kind of annoying, to be honest, to tell the truth. I can't see... Ah, oh, I can't see him. Normally, they're just transparent. But, uh, for some reason, the transparency isn't working properly. Like, sometimes he's transparent, sometimes he's solid, and sometimes he's invisible. So, uh, that's clearly a glitch. Well, the transparency works for this guy. And, uh, he's a bit of a nightmare, because, uh, he likes to suck up all of my coins. Watch him make a beeline. Yeah, he's taken my, uh, 100 coin that I should have got from that enemy. I think I just screwed up. Yeah, I screwed up. Um, uh, I do kind of want... Come on! What? It lagged and I couldn't jump over it. I got the diamond. I don't care. Screw this. Screw this level. <laughs> this is not my day, clearly. Um, yeah, there's also uh, another new type of enemy, which is Zombie Warrior. Basically, uh, Zombie Warrior, not wa Zombie Warrior, uh, Bat Warrior. Vampire Bat Warrior. Let's leave it at that. Uh, Vampire Bat Warrior can fly. Whew. Gosh, you'll have to forgive me, I just have not been having a good day today. I thought, I genuinely thought I'd be fine after uh, yesterday's episode. Because that was the worst. Honestly, that was so awful. But, uh, no. Anyway, there's a uh, nice little secret here that is actually very difficult to find. And I only found it in a very recent playthrough. But, uh, you can actually destroy these blocks here. And then, that, uh, that's how you uh, get there. So... What you find here is a nice little diamond. And I'm not sure... How do you... There's... Yeah, there is a nice little secret in the secret. Because, uh... You know. Oh, come on. Just pick up the damn stone. <laughs> Had enough of this shit, Oreo. I just want to... Finish this. Ugh. Anyway, got me a nice diamond. 4,000 score. Probably going to finish this level with 10,000 as the norm. So I shouldn't have too many worries. Climb. Uh, yes. So, uh, obviously, a zombie and bat warrior get turned back into normal warrior by light sources. Kind of a uh, very different mechanic. I quite like it. I don't know why, but they uh, decided to make these levels kind of spooky themed. I suppose it's better than just making them water themed. I mean, that's what you really tend to associate with uh, blue you know, sapphires. Uh, that's not good. Ugh! Oh, just made that. Mine. No, oh, well, I can at least get back up there by charging into here and breaking all of these. And we even get a nice little something out of it. Failed that jump. I don't know how. Man, there are so many of these uh, turtle show guys. That guy's going to be a pain if I want to get up there. Squash him. Anyway, I want this diamond because that's 
We're not doing well score for this level. Anyway, uh, if you didn't notice, that looked like a uh, pretty decent rolling area, so I'm gonna roll down there without further ado and uncover. Oh, look, it's the CD. And now I'm gonna roll back the other way because there's actually another secret in the other direction. Which is a, uh, another little secret area. Oh, it's... Oh, it's this one. Um, basically, in this area... In this area, what you have to do is you get turned into Zombie Warrior so you can fall down here. And then you can pick up one of these glass balls. Then what you have to do with the glass ball is not drop it. You have to hold on to it, not be turned into a zombie again, and not drop it, as I've been doing a frankly terrible job of doing. Oh, all the distractions in this level. Uh, you get the you get the message. I'm not going to waste time on that because that's just going to take me too long. I need to get this episode done with because I need yeah I need to work on my episode times uh, if you've been keeping up with my channel then uh, you should be fairly familiar with uh, how my episodes end up you get the uh, nice ones which are uh, something like uh, 20 minutes long uh, that's what I like to aim for and then you get the uh, awful ones which go on far too long and are about 40 minutes. So uh, yeah, I need to work on my timing. There was actually nothing in here of any particular interest on this. So, no, nothing up there. So, we need to go back down and now because we hit the exclamation mark block we've made some more slopes. We've got three G jewel pieces. I'm trying to call it by the right name now. Uh, let's just smash that guy out of the way. Ignore Captain Pirate Stealing Guy. He steals my coins and he looks like a pirate, so he's a pirate. Uh, break through this annoying section. Uh, there's a uh, pipe here. I'm just gonna. Oh, okay. Uh, this is a pretty simple one. You've just gotta throw this guy up and break that block and then when you go here they all charge into the water like idiots because they want to you know kill the warrior but instead they just suicide themselves because they fall into the water and don't actually hit warrior Whew, that was an asshole i'm feeling pretty stressed right now i must i must admit uh what's down here a little bit of opportunity for extra coins. A little bit of the extra cash. Oh, and the last gem piece. Um, I believe somewhere it may be, here, I think it's here um, but yeah, there is a uh, additional area where you can I guess I sh should I show, yeah I'll show it off at the risk of making this episode a bit too long. I'm going to show it off. You just keep... Oh, okay. Ignore me, because I don't know this level at all. I think it must be up at the top here. You just... No? How'd you get in there, then? I'm sorry about this. I... Oh, you just swim. I thought the water was going in the wrong direction, the other direction. I'm an idiot. And I am misleading you guys if you want to do this game properly. Oh. God. You know, if I could, I would honestly just redo this entire episode. Because it's just been a, a bad time through and through. But, uh, yeah. 
The advantage of being in bat form is that you don't take damage from enemies, so I can just go and kill those shell guys, and now we can go and get the key without much frustration. Never mind, I'm going the wrong way already. Key, so you get turned back into human, and you've got the key, and now you need to run, and this guy, who stole my coins earlier, is more than happy to steal key as well. Come on, oh man. So I need to go down here, because it's the easiest way. Uh, jump up here, go to the pipe. Yeah, I think that might happen. Come on. Come on. Thankfully he can't steal it again after he's stolen it. <coughs> got it. And you can't leave the area until you've got it back. So, uh, it's just another added frustration to this level. Anyway, I think what I'm... What? Why couldn't I get up there? I'm just gonna roll. I don't think he can keep up with me if I roll. I... No, 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 no. He can still come... No, oh my god. I thought he couldn't come down here. But he can. He will chase you eagerly for this stupid key that is... At the moment being... Far too much effort. I'm just saying random words now. Oh, I'm... <sighs> I've got to admit, having this desperate run through back through the level to try and escape with the key and all the bits is really not what I needed when I've been so stressed out. Oh, come on, he's coming back this way, right? I can't... I can't get it. I have to freaking activate these... I hate you, you stupid, freaking, annoying, rubbish captain guy. Come on. I've got one minute left. I think I'm near the entrance though, right? Yeah, this is the entrance. <laughs> this is the worst episode ever. But, that's going to be the end of it. And hopefully by tomorrow, I'll have recovered and I'll actually be able to do the three levels that remain in this passage and then I can do the boss. And I, I, I don't know what the plan is. But, yeah, we're deviating from how we were doing it. I thought it was quite nice. You know, we were doing two levels each episode, but whatever. That's going to be the end of this episode. I'm ending it now. <laughs> I'm not even going to ask if you can give me a like and subscribe. This was awful. <laughs> I don't see how you can enjoy that, but if you did, you're a horrible, sick, sick person. <laughs> Goodbye.